Welcome to DynaVap Live. I'm Retail Josh. I'm Pranav. And we have a pretty fun show for you to for you today. We're going to be discussing the low temp cap that Pranav just did a little demo on, as well as some changes to the website. Um, as you probably know, we've been very hard at work uh, getting all those Color M orders that are still coming in out. Um, and then Pranav, you've been very busy in automation and on Instagram, haven't you? Yeah, I have. It's and been a busy week. Yep, and that, so, that was a cool down click. <laughs> there it goes. And so how about we do a couple shout outs right away. We got Sent Nomad from Berlin, Bad Andy from Ottawa, uh, we got E. Anglin from Michigan, uh, Men's 420 and Flow Arola Pro from New York, uh, Runzi from the Moon. From the Moon? What service provider do you have, man? <laughs> and Rustin Peterson from Utah, Dusty from Minnesota, Jorge Lopez from the South Bay area, Deadworks from Phoenix, Mark N. from Scotland, uh, Leafy Wiggy from Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, um, I, I love that word, Saskatchewan. It, it does roll off the tongue in a really odd way. Uh, Sewing 420 Seed from the Big Island, uh, Caleb Willis in Ontario, Joe Suds from South Detroit. Okay, now South Detroit technically doesn't exist. I know that. Nice what try. Mean? What do you mean it doesn't South exist? South of Detroit, you're in Toronto. Like you're in Canada. Ah, okay. That's <laughs> and then uh, Tom Frank from the Philly Burbs. And so we want to thank you all for tuning in. Yeah. If you're a first-time watcher, let us know. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so and ring the bell to be notified so that way you're aware of any new content that we release. And drop a colon in the chat when your cap clicks. We started this last week. Yep, I saw Derek already did that in the chat, so thank you for remembering. And then uh, if you have any questions about our new website or the low temp cap, uh, please leave them in the chat now and we'll answer them in a bit. And then also we're gonna be doing some giveaways, aren't we tonight? We're doing some giveaways. What should we give away? Uh, I think we're gonna be giving away a color M to whoever can, let's come up with a question. Uh, the question should be, what did Ben dress up as for Halloween? Yep. So that guy gets a colored M yep. and a low temp cap. And then we'll send out uh, two stainless steel standard 2019 M's for the uh, some great questions that we receive. So keep the questions coming in and you get a 2019 M and a low temp cap. Let's throw in the low temp cap as well. And one thing I kind of want to ask you, because as you said before, there's a lot of stuff going on Instagram. What kind of things have you been seeing a lot of recently? Uh, I've started seeing a lot of colored M pictures, especially the rosium. That one's just so photogenic, you know, and there's so much variance in every rosium. Mm -hmm. with the like the color gradient so each one is unique and there's some really pretty shots of them out there and any giveaways that we're doing we've been doing giveaways every week so if you haven't subscribed to our instagram please do we do giveaways every monday and then we do giveaways on some thursdays so this week we one lucky guy got all three colors so we just announced the winner today and i think he has to do a little less christmas shopping this time yeah. around yeah, you have more of the color M's than I think you or I either have. Yeah. So you're a very lucky person right now. Uh, we also want to uh, thank all the different communities, the Dynaverse, the FC Forum, Vapor Asylum, Vapor Ents, the DynaVap subreddit. Uh, we really want to thank you for all the great feedback that we get from you guys. It's because of you that so many people know about our product. And we want to thank all the different retailers out there as well uh, because it's all of their hard work that allows that product to get in so many different hands and so definitely want to thank you and there's a specific one that we want to give a shout out to oh yeah uh, a good friend at htnt uh, he's having make a wish foundation giveaway running through all of november so it's for a good cause make sure you vis visit his uh, instagram page for all the details and he has some exciting prizes Excellent. And so, yeah, be sure to do that. It's for a great cause. And so check out Ed's TNT's page. Uh, check it out. And if you're already sharing the Dynaverse with your friends and family, be sure to check out our affiliate program. It's something that you're already doing. You might as well get something for it. All you need to do for more info is just go to affiliate at dynavap.com, shoot an email over there, and we'll get you uh, in touch with you, get you all set up with the code, and really kind of help you out for helping us out. We have a winner already for the trivia question. So the winner one... is Leafy Wiggy. So and just drop uh, your last four digits of your ID so we can cross check when you win. And the answer was Captain America. Congratulations. Yeah, and so really great job. I was surprised someone got that so quickly. Uh, and then for those of you who tune in every DynaVap Live, 
or if you're a new uh, viewer, every time we do a Dynavap Live, we put out a new community question. And this week's question was, what type of content would you like to see on our new blog on our website, which is kind of highlighting one of the new features. And so the options were staff AMA, which is an ask me anything, tips and tricks, uh, bi-weekly updates that we can put out, customer content spotlights, or an editorial. Uh, the clear winner was tips and tricks, and so we will definitely do some of that. I'd also think in the staff AMA would be fun. Yeah, uh, that'd be fun. We can like ask George some questions, mm -hmm. and there's so many cool guys up there. So Yeah, and it kind of gives you a little bit more insight on what goes on in the company. And so be sure to check that out. And uh, as we just touched on that blog, you may have noticed that the website has gotten a little bit of a minor facelift. And uh, one of the big things is you, if you haven't already, reset your password if you're registered on the website. You just click the reset password link. Now, if you do not get the uh, email to reset your link, be sure to check your spam folder. And then uh, let's kind of touch on some of the changes. Uh, probably the most one that we just mentioned is the blog. And so the blog is a new thing that we're going to be doing to kind of expand the community a little bit. Um, and so our first one was just kind of highlighting some of the changes. But this is like our first official blog post. And I think fitting with the time of year uh, is sharing the memories, uh, people's first Vapcat memories, uh, and memorable moments that they've had with their device. And so this first one, it kind of has a short clip. Uh, with Sneaky Pete and myself talking about some memorable moments that we have. And we really stress, we want to see you share your stories in the comments. That's the whole thought behind this. We really kind of want to get more insight in what made an experience memorable for you or how you were introduced it. Like, was there a memorable thing that happened with it? We want to see those and we want to really engage with our community. And so that kind of covers the blog. And then what's another new feature that you've seen on the site? Uh, I think my favorite section is the where to buy section because I'm pretty sure you've been getting a lot of questions. Hey, where's the closest place where I can just go and buy one? Yeah, that is easily one of the most frequent questions that uh, it, we haven't seen them as much since we actually launched this feature, but that was something that I got asked at least probably 10 times a day is where can I buy one near me? And so you just go to the where to buy section on the website, put in your info as demonstrated here, and you'll see the closest retailers to you. Now, this is not a complete list. Uh, we are still importing the data from our different wholesalers, and they have to send us the info and uh, give us permission to display their info on our website. But be sure to check that out. And if you don't see one, still shoot us a call, and we can let us know if there's a closer store near you. And we also want to give a couple shout outs to a couple new stores that just signed on with us, such as West Coast Gifts out of Vancouver, uh, Vape Gold Coast in Australia, and Rainbow on Bay uh, out of Thunder Bay, Canada, which actually where Sheldon is from. Oh, so, is he? Nice. That's good so I almost wonder if he had his hand in that one <laughs> at all because he does go up there from time to time. And um, so I think that's a really great feature that we added. It just makes things a lot easier for people. And I, we have to mention this. Video Ben hammered this in. We have to mention the new video section on the site. Uh, it's been updated and continued to be updated uh, with our frequent videos, and uh, we'll have... We have over 100 now, and so be sure to check that out if you want to see some exclusive content That's and things really like nice that. That's a really nice picture. I really like that one. Yeah, and that was such a fun day. It was, it was a fun day. And people will get to see more of that day on Sneaky Peach channel tomorrow. Uh, I hope so. So he should be dropping a video of his time here in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and he did a little tour inside Dynavap. So I think it will be the first time people get to see, like get a little sneak peek into how we run things back here. So it'll be a cool video. I like how you phrase that. Sneak peek. <laughs> sneak peek from uh, Sneaky Pete. And we'll be featuring a lot of tips and tricks on that video section as well. It's just gonna make it easier to find those videos that help you work your device and just get a better experience. And that kind of leads us into the segment where we answer those questions, which is the snap. This week, we're actually gonna be discussing how to deal with those finicky O-rings on your titanium tips. So take it away, Ben. This is the snap. Welcome to The Snap. This is a segment where we answer frequently asked questions in a very rapid fire format. So let's get right into it. One of the most frequently asked questions we receive is what to do when the O-rings are bunching up during reassembly of your device. This primarily happens with a titanium tip with its extra O-ring, but it has a rather easy fix. It does seem a little bit counterintuitive because it's primarily just taking extra time. Now during reassembly of my device, I always make sure I have some DynaWax handy 
to make sure that I properly lubricate those O-rings prior to reassembly. I just take a small amount, put it on, and I should be good to go. Beware of using excessive Dynawax like I am demonstrating here, as it can cause the O-rings to bunch up. When inserting the tip, avoid doing so at an angle. If you look closely, there's almost like a slight little A when I'm trying to do that. You want to try to do it as straight as you possibly can to avoid that bunching up to occur. Simply press in, and you'll actually feel it snap into place. But if those O-rings bunch up, the primary fix is to just rotate the device, look at where they're bunching from, and apply pressure from the opposite angle and rotate, and let the device tell you what needs to be done. If it's bunching up one way, rotate and push the other way. Just rock it back and forth and take your time and it will eventually go in with no issues. Don't try to rush it. If you keep pressing, the O-rings are just gonna keep bunching up over one another and it's not gonna work. So in conclusion, the fix to inserting all those O-rings into your midsection using a titanium tip, simply just take your time, let the device tell you what needs to be done and apply pressure from the appropriate angles and wipe away any excess Dynawax. It's really simple, just take your time and you will have no issues. And that has been The Snap. I'm Retail Josh and thanks for watching. Welcome back. Uh, yep, and so we hope you found that informative and then... Uh, just a quick note, so uh, if you still find that your O-rings are bunching up even after following those tips, uh, there might be an issue with the tolerances sometimes, so you just reach out to us and we'll take care of you. Yep, and we'd be happy to do that for you. And then... Uh, Let's you take saw, a couple of questions. Yeah, yeah, you saw a couple good ones that came in during the snap. And so I like one, uh, ZX11 one or ZX 11 can. How did we decide on the three colors, any colors you would like to see? That's a great question. Uh, so the way we decided that was we knew that we needed to do a variant of black because black is such, such a good color for vaporizers in general and a lot of people like black. And since the shadow last year was such a great success, we had to do a black but not keep it the same, keep things fresh. So we decided to go with the Phantom which is a lighter matte gray kind of a finish and then we needed one in contrast with that so I think gold was a really good option it's mm -hmm. it's such a bold color and then we wanted to do a much more vibrant color so pink was on our minds but then the way these turned out uh, yeah. I mean I'm, I'm lost for words because they just look so beautiful it's kind of like our whole thing was oh we want you to be discreet but here's this really loud vibrant colored vaporize that no one can miss. I think this is the favorite color, it. my favorite color we've ever done, the rosium. It mm, just looks my phenomenal. Too, by far. Let's, let's do some more questions. Um, what do you do with your AVB? I save it for a rainy day. Yeah. What do you do with it? I save it and I store it for a very long time until I get enough to do some really fun stuff with it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Josh, uh, what is your daily driver? Asked by Chris. Uh, so it really kind of depends. Typically, I like to stick to uh, one of the Hydrovongs with a low temp cap uh, or uh, the Hydra Omnivong. I okay. like to run mine through water most of the time. Even though I started with an Omnivap XL, I just like it through water. It's just, it, there's just something about it. It's I find it so much more fun and enjoyable. Josh, any plans to allow faster shipping? That is something that is actually, hopefully will be ready soon. That is something that has been in the works for a long time. Uh, because we know people have been asking for it. It's just a matter of getting that all programmed and contracts dealt with uh, with the different shipping carriers. So, so hopefully, the answer is soon. Yeah, hopefully soon. That Fingers crossed we have that ready uh, very soon. Awesome, awesome. And uh, then I see a really good one. Uh, so uh, personalization plans from Maximilian Vega. Uh, I almost wonder if he's talking about like custom pieces or things like that. Well, we always want to do something unique and something fun for everyone so hopefully we do something fun soon mm -hmm. some something customizable or a limited run of something yeah we should have something we always got something up our sleeves in some way shape or form and then uh, before we take any more questions i kind of want to highlight one of the other new features on the website is a new streamlined purchasing experience we actually have a little demo here and kind of goes over the experience as a whole uh, where before every little thing that you would add in your cart, it would have to refresh and reload. And so now it's pretty much all done and 
one seamless uh, screen. So you can see here, we're clicking on vaporizers, simply scroll down, you can select on your option, add, say, the phantom to the cart, and you have all your info that was there before. It's gonna look very familiar, but once you add a device to your cart, you're gonna notice it changes. You just have that little menu Life pop up. cart update, I like that. Yep, and you can put in your zip code or your postal code, uh, where you're going, you can pick the city that it's going to be shipping to, and then it'll tell you how much shipping is, if you owe any tax, and uh, you can put in your discount code if you have one of those. And from that point, you can go right back into the shop, and you can browse around, look at the different product photos. Hopefully, we'll actually have some videos added in there, too, to give you a little bit extra insight on what that device looks like, because it's hard to always tell with our products how it will look from a two-dimensional photograph. And then you can go to the parts section, click on, say, the low temperature cap, read that, look at the different photos, and then add to cart. And now you'll be able to go right into it. It's going to show that right there. You can edit. It just makes the experience a lot quicker and easier. It's a lot snappier. It's not as slow as it used to be, which I think will make a lot of people happy. I know just working on it in the back end, it's a lot easier. Now here, I think this is my favorite. Yes, because so, we used to have like all the stashes listed individually, and now there's just a drop down with all the words. So this makes things so much easier. Yep, and it same goes for the different kits too, or the packs, where we would have cedar or walnut. Now you can choose which one you would prefer in the checkout rather than having to put in the order notes. Hope that we see it. Now it's a lot more clear and concise on what you're getting. Nice. And the same I think goes for like different torch colors and things like that. If that's not okay. programmed in there already. It will soon and then you have your address line two on there it's just overall a much easier experience so we hope you like it and uh, i think now would be a good time to actually kind of introduce the low temp cap a little bit more. i think it's an excellent time and so if you haven't seen already we're actually going to show george's preview of the low temp cap right now Thank you. introducing the low temperature cap by dynavap there's a little icon on the back just to make sure you know which one it is. It looks like a T because it's all about taste, temperature, maybe even terpenes. Fill in the blank. The low temperature cap is simply a new tool to enable you to modify your experience with the VAP cap more to your liking. Give you another way to change things up a little bit. It clicks at a slightly lower temperature, about 7 to 10 degrees C or somewhere in that 15 to 17 degrees Fahrenheit range. When heating your low temperature cap, or any other cap for that matter, the way that you heat it can have a profound impact in terms of the temperature that it clicks and the overall experience that you have with your device. Keep your cap positioned at a slight angle and above, probably a finger width or better, the bright blue part of the flame, about like this. Rotate or sideways, either is fine, and generally stop heating at the click. If you want a higher temperature extraction, heat a little bit lower. If you want a lower temperature, more flavorful extraction, heat a little bit closer to the groove on the cap. The low temperature cap makes your VAP cap into a terpene tasting tool. Thanks for watching. Please let us know what you think of the new low temperature cap by DynaVap. Welcome back. Uh, we hope you liked that little intro, George giving a little insight on that low temp cap. And when we released that, uh, we got a lot of feedback from Reddit and on that video. And one of the most common questions that we saw was, how did the low temp cap come about? Like what's its origin? And so you being in automation research and development, I think that's a perfect question for you. That's a great question. Uh, before I get into that, I really like the way it was released. Like we didn't hype it up or anything. We just drop them in the colored and pre-orders and they just arrived at people's doorsteps so they could actually try it mm -hmm. before you know like they just see this ad for a low temp cap so that was pretty nice and we got a lot of good feedback but i sat with george yesterday and kind of asked him uh the history of of the cap and he filled me in on a little backstory and this is interesting trivia here so the low temp cap actually was supposed to be the cap back when George was uh, mm -hmm. developing the Dynavap. And the reason why it wasn't the cap was when the feedback he initially got was that uh, 
compared to the other vaporizers in the market at the time you weren't getting those big massive clouds mm -hmm. so when he was first trying to guess what the temperature range should be for the cap this was it but it had to be tweaked eventually and as time moved on a lot of people were asking for a lower temperature cap especially mark you know mark from our department mm -hmm. he he kept asking for a lower temperature cap for certain materials that i can say uh, vaporize at a slightly lower temperature so george handed me a little baggie with the original snap disc the back from i would say 2014 2015 and he asked me to make some caps with those discs and i made some i handed them over to mark and i took some i, I took them home and the first time i tried it i was like holy cow wow this is this is awesome and this should be out there and i was like george we need to like send these out to the people and uh well we took the right steps we sent it out to the beta testers i think they were out to the beta testers mid may mm -hmm. so it's been quite a while it's been a couple of months and the reason for that is the cap is it's kind of a key element for for dynavap for the vap cap and before we made any significant change, we wanted to deliberate over it and not take it lightly, you know? So as soon as we sent them out to the beta testers, instant, instant feedback was, wow, this is awesome because we're getting so much flavor. It's extending our sessions and why isn't this out yet? We kept getting that same response. We, we should release this. And we still decided to take it a little slow. We didn't want to just like push a product out into the market just we we kept collecting that feedback and ever since i switched to a low temp cap it's been my daily driver mm -hmm. for dry hub so i was all in for it and yeah n now we are here now it's out there and uh, i remember seeing uh, a reddit post just two days ago that says that this person got 18 cycles out of a low temp cap which is insane the most i got out of it was like eight or nine so just hearing that someone took it up to 18 is fantastic and that's what it's all about you know like tea we have the tea logo on there tea is for taste terpenes mm -hmm. temperature and we have the two downward arrows so that indicates yeah. no temp. i i think it's i re still remember the day where you first tried it and you messaged me you're like you got to try this and it was like two weeks before i got to so i was like itching like crazy just to get my hands on it so we finally we met up because we were going to go to the farmer's market. And you're like, oh, you can finally try the low temp cap. That was a good day. <laughs> and so did like six heat cycles and was like, okay, that, that tip is probably done. Let's go. And let me just put it this way. I bought way too much cheese, not enough produce at the farmer's market. So it, it did its job. <laughs> and when we got back, I looked at it and it was still looked like it had barely been used and was able to go all over again. That's and awesome. since that, it's that's all I've been using. It's been so hard to keep quiet on this because it for was like six the, months. Yes, yeah, I it know. Was, <laughs> it was it was because it came out around the same time or was in development around the same time as the hydrolon. Yes. So I was using those two together at the same time, having to keep my mouth shut for both of them. It was so <laughs> tough, like sharing the different photos on uh, social media and be like, all right, that's the wrong one. Got it. Remove the tip. Take the photo again. But it's such a like, explain a li little bit to me, because this is a question that I think is really important. How is it different from just heating the closed end of the cap? Well, that's a good question. And the way I would answer it is there's a lot of variables at play, but there's a lot of compounds that vaporize at a lower temperature. So when you're starting off with a lower temperature cap, you're able to extract just those compounds and you get that flavor, you get that wispy, wispy mm -hmm. hit, but which is again amazing in taste. It's the way you smell it is the way you taste it. Mm -hmm. I, I think George keeps saying that. Mm -hmm. And I've also seen a lot of people. What they do is they'll start off with the low temp cap, and I've tried this as well. Do like five or six cycles with the low temp, and then switch to a regular cap, which also works perfectly because you keep getting those successive low temp hits and get extract all that flavor out from your material and then you can fully extract it with a regular cap. It really reduces the range. I think it makes it a lot easier for people because of the way that I kind of see it, when you're using the regular cap, you know, it, the, the whatever it's titanium tip or stainless steel tip, 
that metal has to, it'll eventually get to that temperature where the click occurs. And so that heat will retain. So if you do a subsequent heat cycle, you're gonna be already at that higher temperature. Where with that lower temperature cap, you're gonna be able to maintain that lower temperature yes. for more subsequent draws. I think you're right. I think the right word is we've extended the range. Mm -hmm. We've not narrowed it down, we've extended the range and given people more options. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I absolutely love it. I think like in the feedback that we've seen so far too, uh, once people got their hands on it, they've really, really liked it. And so let's take a couple other questions here. Uh, do we plan for a high temp cap? That's an excellent question. And the answer is, well, if a lot of people reach out to us and ask for one, we will work on it. I mean, we, we are working on it, but people want it, we, we should be able to make that happen. Because I know that a lot of people have been asking for it for concentrates and mm -hmm. a high temp for concentrates would be preferable. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's definitely question. So, something to look out for. Something to look out for. Uh, here's one that I like too. Um, is the Phantom as hard wearing as the Galvanized Shadow M? Um, That's an excellent question. Uh, from the internal testing that we've done, I think the Phantom is the most durable finish that we've ever had. So ev even like, even the cap itself, it's really hard to get a patina except for where the logo is because that layer has been etched out. But even if you get a patina, it just rubs right off and it's a really durable coating. Uh, another one too, uh, Dan K, which tip heats up more nice or easily? Um, they'll both, they're both easy to heat, but in terms of, Mart, what would you say is the easier one to heat? Uh, it comes down to personal preference, you know, they both heat up pretty much the same, but the stainless retains heat for a little longer. So some people prefer stainless, some people prefer tie. I have both, so I keep switching them. Yeah, <laughs> I, I switch them up all the time. I typically, like, I'll go back to back. Like, if I'm running through water, sometimes I'll use the stainless. It comes, try both and pick which one you like more. Um, I see another one from Brian Wright, Dyna Builder coming back. Uh, so the Dyna Builder currently is gone. We are working on a replacement. We just can't say what it is yet or what it will look like. So you will see more info on that in the future. Uh, bearded, uh, where would you like to see Dynavap in five years? New projects, designs? Wow, that's a, that's a George question. Because yeah. where, where I would like to see it? Employed. At the top. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, that, that's really all I can, I can say, as long as I'm still employed here, like. This is a fun place to yeah. be, and I would love to be here for years to come. And so, so Bearded, um, that answers it. you uh, won one of the stainless steel M's, because that was a great question. So put your four digits of your ID, the last four, in the chat, and shoot an email over to Cheryl, and we'll get that sent out to you. Uh, I see another good one here. Uh, one of my caps only clicks one time. Is this a bad cap? I'll let you take this one away for now. Uh, it's not a bad cap, so there's, there's two discs and what we've always said is one, one, one of the clicks is a redundancy click, but sometimes they can actuate at the same time and sometimes the momentum from one disc is enough to like actuate the second disc. So as long as you respect the click, you're good to go. Yeah, like what I see a lot of the time at home is I'll get one click on heat up and then I'll hear two Cool down, down click. Cool down. So I'll heal the one cool down click. I'll go to check the doneness, and then it'll click in my hand, as I'm sure you've experienced, and a mm -hmm. lot of other people have as well. And that's that's something about the cap. Like each each cap out there has its own character. You know, you kind of devel, devel, uh, develop a relationship with your device because mm -hmm. it's unique and it'll click differently. Yeah, and it's 100% right. And that's actually how I am with my low temp cap after using it for so long. Uh, I have many caps at home, as you can imagine, as you do too. Uh, so my fiance, she likes the standard cap for the majority of the time. And so she'll swap it out and then I'll be searching through my supply and trying to find the low temp cap and because that's what I like. And you really do get a really personal, intimate connection with your device. Uh, will the low temp cap help deal with my induction heater that has a ten tendency to overheat with the regular cap? This is a good question, and the best way to answer is uh, in, uh, induction heaters. It's 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 difficult because each induction heater is tuned differently, and it all comes down to the magnetic permeability of the discs themselves, which is much higher than 
the cap and the tip. So uh, you need to like find out how your induction heater runs and then try to adjust accordingly, maybe go in for like a couple of seconds after the click. So you need to try it out with your low temp cap, with your regular cap, just find the sweet spot. Now this is one that I see all the time. I, I just saw it pop up in the chat. Uh, any plans for a bigger tip, like with larger capacity? Uh, that one is a very interesting question. It's definitely feasible, but the difficulty of it, because you would be dealing with the physics, because that cap is calibrated to work with that size. As soon as you increase the diameter, the whole physics of the whole device changes. Am I correct in that assumption? That's You are correct with that assumption, but I, I wouldn't say no, that we wouldn't do it. We can do it. The question is, should we? Yeah. You know, because we have a good bowl size. If you want to do more, you can always refill it up. Mm -hmm. And the device just works fan fantastic, you know. And a lot of people do not try the lower bowl settings uh, on the tie tip. But if you haven't yet, I would highly recommend doing that because you get massive clouds even on the lower settings. And I didn't do it for the longest time. And it was actually a couple of weeks ago yeah, that I tried it for right the before dinner. Right before dinner. And I tried it for the first time. I was like, wow. Like even on the smallest setting, you get massive clouds. So Yeah, it was George, Sneaky Pete, myself, and Video Ben. And we all pulled off of it and like we all <laughs> got the effect. And that was using the low temp cap as well. So yeah, if you have a tie tip and you haven't tried the lowest setting, I would highly recommend doing that. And give us some feedback. Let us know what you think. And then I see another good one here. Uh, silicone ER containers coming back. Uh, answer for that is eventually. Uh, another one, Harry Dino. Uh, Dynastash with a built-in heater. Is that in the works? Dynastash, wow, that's a, good, that's a good suggestion. It's not in the works, but maybe it will be. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Brazil has a good one. Would be nice to have the uh, option to add to existing orders again before they ship. That is something that we are currently working on. It is a limitation of the current site. Uh, but like, if you want to uh, ever edit your order or cancel it, uh, just give us a call. We can get you set up like with voiding your transaction so that way you can place a new order as soon as possible. Uh, it does enable us to do some swaps and things like that as long as it's the same price in a lot more easy fashion. Uh, I see another good one from Forest Sky. Will the low temp cap vaporize material as thoroughly as the original cap? The answer is yes. You might take longer because you'll have to do a lot of successive cycles to get that full extraction. Because after each successive cycle, there is heat that's retained in the tip. So the dynamics of it works in such a way that you have to keep doing successive cycles until you get that full extraction. But you can always switch over to a regular cap and extract it completely. Yeah, and so see some really good questions. Uh, and this one is from Dualmatic. Any special tips for cleaning cap to travel? Uh, see, for me, like when you travel, you typically just give the one that you brought with away, don't you? <laughs> I, yes, I do. I do the same thing. I and just so, give it away, but um, I, I know that everyone is not in a position to do that. Yeah. So how, how would you best clean it? I would say the best thing is follow the, I would say go to our YouTube channel. We have a video of how to clean the cap. I would follow the steps for a deep clean, really let it soak to really with some so soapy water, make sure that you get all that particulate matter out and scrub it with a Q-tip or a cotton swab and really kind of get in there. And then that's what I really love about the VAP cap is that it's so easy to clean, you know, everything mm -hmm. comes apart and you can just rinse it out. Yep. And I like, there's so many different uh, solvents that you can use or cleaning solutions. Like I very rarely use the traditional method. Uh, it really, you do what works for you. Uh, oh, this is a great one from uh, Keep Sip, Keep Sick Crypto. Can you make color tips in TI? Answer is yes, we can do color in TI. And uh, we, have. <laughs> we, we have done color anodizing, but we can also do PVD. So we haven't done any yet, but I there's no reason to say that we wouldn't in the future. So yeah, we might. Yep, and so I think that's it's a really there's always stuff changing and going on. And then, oh, I see one here uh, from Mark. Uh, are you, th uh, I think you guys should release a seven fin titanium tip, like those rare ones that show up now and again. We see that request all the time, yeah. don't we? Uh, I, it's, 
Yes, I've seen them so many times and it's a really cool tip. I actually tried it for the first time sometime last month because I kept seeing these comments and posts on Reddit talking about the seven friend tip. I was like, George, I need to try this and he handed me one. It's 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 a cool tip. It's it's really nice, but we haven't made any since and it's quite a rare piece. Yeah, they like on the different like trade uh forums and boards, they usually get snatched up right away. I think that's that's something that's special about it mm -hmm. is, is that it is rare. Yeah, I still regret not purchasing mine when they're available. Like back in like mid 2018, they did a small re release of them. Um, oh, here's one, and I think we still have one more uh, device to give away, right, Coley and Karen? Oh, yes, we need to pick one more winner. The question that I really like is Maximilian Vega's most unorthodox cleaning method. I would let you have that because you so, have the most unorthodox so cleaning method. I very rarely use a traditional solvent. I typically will use a saucepan and some type of high fat liquid such as whole milk because that the lipids in that act as a solvent and cleans everything away and then you get the effects of all that. Then you get a good milkshake. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, you get to relax for a couple hours so it's very, very nice. That's my preferred method to do it. I love being in the kitchen, so like with my leftover material or my condenser, I tend to let them get very dirty and just enjoy the ride that I get out of it. Awesome. And so uh, Maximilian Vega, shoot your info over to, uh, put first put your f last four digits in the chat and shoot your info over to Cheryl and we'll get one out to you. And then one last question for the evening, any plans for colored Omni XLs? Not yet, but maybe in the future. Excellent. And so we want to thank you all for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Uh, loved all the great questions that we got tonight. And we want to thank our crew, uh, Ben and Bryce for behind the cameras, Coley and Karen taking care of the questions. And let us know what you think about the low temp cap down in the comments or shoot us an email using the contact form on the website. And let us know what you thought of today's episode. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell if you haven't already. And follow the Instagram that Pranav manages. Uh, yes. You have some pretty big plans coming up for the holidays, don't you? Pretty big plans for the holidays. Lot, lot more giveaways and cool pictures. So follow us on Instagram. And our next episode is actually going to be a little bit different. It's going to be on November 27th, I believe. It's a Wednesday. It's not a Thursday this time. And it's at 4.19 p.m. Central Time. We'll be doing some special stuff. Yeah, we'll be giving the details of our uh, Black Friday uh, sale and giving some really cool stuff away. So be sure to check us out then at 419 on November 27th. Uh, once again, thank you all for tuning it's in. We'll guns. see you then. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. For more videos, click here or here. And don't forget to subscribe.